Right, only on WRAL, more than six months after the state took over child welfare services at Nash County Social Services, tomorrow the state plans to transfer control back to the agency. WRAL's Lena Tillette leading our investigation into this story, continuing her coverage, joining us live now, Lena. Yeah, Ashley, I obtained two documents from the State Department of Health and Human Services tonight, including this letter to county officials. It describes why the state took over with new troubling details and also about the progress Nash DSS has made in recent months. Thursday marks day one of a revamped child welfare services at the Nash County Department of Social Services. After 198 days under the control of the State Department of Health and Human Services, a lot has changed within the agency, including a new DSS director, Danita DeVega, a 25-year social work veteran. The first state probe into Nash DSS began after a WRAL investigation into the beating death of 8-year-old Crystal Lane. Law enforcement told WRAL they recommended the girl be removed from her home to Nash DSS weeks before her murder. A second WRAL investigation found another child died in their care three years earlier. And in that case, social workers within Nash DSS itself recommended Chase Hilliard be removed. In two letters obtained by WRAL tonight, state officials say three final incidents in August last year led them to take over child welfare services, including one case where a father contacted the agency multiple times about his child's well-being. And when state officials asked Nash DSS for a review of the case, they, quote, learned the case lacked any narrative and none of the structured decision-making tools were completed. In fact, a week later, quote, it was also discovered that there were 200 or more cases that had been closed, but there was no documentation to support the case decision that was made. In the months since the takeover, the state says Nash DSS has made significant progress, including a process for, quote, assessing the safety of children in all open child welfare services, for notifying the Nash County Sheriff's Office about abuse and neglect cases, providing full-time management, supervision, and evaluation of cases, a new after-hours unit, and hiring and training new child welfare staff members. And Ashley, the state says it will still maintain oversight over this agency and monitor progress there as well. A welcome new chapter to this story. Thank you, Lena.